Good evening, thanks for joining us on the news at 8. Today is the 10th day in mode of March 2023. I am Grace Dorcas Nikachi. First, the major headlines. Governor Bazu begs Abia civil servants to vote PDP for continuity. President Buari Mons Mosu says he left a vacuum in our party. NBC vows to short broadcast stations airing programs detrimental to peaceful coexistence. We take our marshes. We'll be right back with details and many more. Stay connected. Experience the smooth and strong feeling that consistently surpasses expectation. Leading the way in high performance lubricants, Master Supermodel Oil is as durable as titanium. Welcome back. Now the details. Governor Kezik Bazou of Abia State has appealed to state civil servants to vote for candidates of the People's Democratic Party in the forthcoming election to sustain the development agenda of the present administration. According to Ikbazu, the state government under his watch has involved several policies and programs that would improve the welfare of workers. Member of Abia State House of Assembly representing Abba South, Honorable Obina Icheta, has congratulated his principal, the governorship candidate of the All Progressive Grand Alliance APGA, Professor Gregory Ibe, on the Supreme Court judgment affirming him as the party's candidate in the state. Icheta, who is Professor Ibe's running mate while addressing journalists in Omaha, thanked the judiciary for living up to the expectations as the hope of a common man and appreciated Abians who demonstrated tolerance in the face of distractions while the litigation lasted. The Labour Party governorship candidate in Abia State, Alex Oti, has appealed to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to sort challenges with the bimodal voter accreditation system, Beavers, before the March 18th governorship and state assembly elections. Speaking on his chances of winning the Abia gubernatorial poll during an interview on China's television on Thursday, Oti said he still believes Beavers is a game changer but asked INEC to fix the problem with the devices. The governorship candidate of Action People's Party, APP in Abia State, Honorable Mascot Kalu, has said his feet well into what the people are yearning for in filling the leadership vacuum in the state. Mascot, a former chief of staff, said he's young, vibrant, energetic, expressing hope that he will emerge victorious at the March 18th governorship election in the state. President Mahmoud Bari has commensurated with National Working Committee of the All Progressives Congress APC following the passing of the National Welfare Secretary Friday Wonsu. This was contained in a statement issued on Friday by his senior special assistant to the President Gabba Shehu. The National Broadcasting Commission NBC has vowed to shut down broadcast stations whose activities can undermine peaceful coexistence. Its spokesman, Mr. Ekanem Eniete, stated in Abuja on Friday that NBC's Director General Malam Baribe Ilia gave the warning at a meeting with broadcast stations on the coverage of the February 25th presidential and National Assembly elections. As the Independent National Electoral Commission INA gears up for the governorship and state house of assembly elections of March 18th, a former INEC director of voter education and publicity, Oluwole Osaze Uzi, says confidence in the electoral body is at an all-time low. Osaze Uzi, in a live interview on Thursday edition of China's TV Politics Today, addressed the forum over glitches with the bimodal voter accreditation system and the upload of results to the INEC Resort Viewing Porter, IREV. The governor of Ocean State, Ademola Adeleke, has called the resident of the state to support the National Population Commission, NPC, by presenting themselves for head count when the exercise begins. The National Population and Housing Census is due to begin by March 29, 2023. The Director General of the National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, NAFDAQ, Professor Moje Sola Adeyege, on Thursday said Nigeria would not support the trend of legalizing 
of cannabis for non-medical use as the country lacks the financial capacity to fight cultivation, production and illegal use of the substance. Speaking during the launch of the INCB annual report, availability supplement and precursor report for 2022 in Lagos, Adeya said that the 2018 National Drug Use Survey revealed that the prevalence of any drug was 14.44% or 14.3 million people using drugs between the age of 15 and 64 years. On the foreign scene, on Friday, Xi Jinping was granted a top term as president of China, capping a rise that has made him the nation's most powerful figure in decades. Following Zag's agreement in October to serve another five years as leader of the Chinese Communist Party, his opponent was approved by China's robust dam parliament. While in sports, Britain boss Roberto Di Zabi has debunked rumors circulating in this media that he has been put in place to replace Tottenham's Antonio Conte as manager. The Italian has been linked with Antonio Conte's job as Spurs. This brings us to the end of the news at 8. But before we go, recap our major stories. Gavnik Bazu begs Abia civil servants to vote PDP for continuity. President Bwari Mons Monsu says he left a vacuum in our party. NBC vows to short breakout stations airing programs detrimental to peaceful coexistence. These and many more different platforms. Just log on to www.avntv.com.ng and you can also follow us on social media platforms in displayed on the screen. I am Grace Dorcas with a channel who's a night dress this safe.